For me as coordinator of the Senator project, uh, this has been a, a wonderful opportunity to work with like-minded academic clinicians, with software engineers, with statisticians and with other experts, all of whom have contributed greatly to the, the whole project over the last five and a half years. The funding of the Senator project was an extremely gratifying and exciting time for both me as coordinator of the Senator project and my uh, project partners in the, the consortium. It was a recognition of the importance of multimorbidity and a growing multimorbid elderly population throughout Europe who are subject to polypharmacy and its uh, adversity. There's also recognition of underuse of non-drug therapies and the challenge put to us as a consortium was to develop a software engine that would deal with those complex aspects of an older person's care within the hospital environment and to determine in the context of a clinical trial if we could improve that. An important lesson coming from the, the Senator trial is this. You can demonstrate uh, and you can prove that a specific software works in terms of uh, providing appropriate advice on drug therapy and non-drug therapy. What is just as important, and perhaps more so, is how to uh, encourage the attending clinician to implement those advice points uh, as much as possible to the benefit of the patient. And it is likely, I feel, that the involvement of well-trained clinical pharmacists in the hospital setting will be important in the future with implementing the majority of the beneficial advice points coming from uh, software-generated uh, treatment reports like we have in Senator. Senator software, like any intervention, uh, must be subject to the rigours of randomised clinical trials. And that was the purpose of this particular trial. It has potentially great benefits to older populations everywhere uh, in terms of reducing drug adversity, which we now know from many studies uh, is highly prevalent, uh, both within hospital and indeed outside of hospital, and also extremely costly. So the aim is to have better, more appropriate and safer medication for older people at reduced cost in the context of an aging population throughout Europe.